All right, doing something a little different today. For today's vlog, I'm gonna go for a little bike ride here at the campground. So that's what you'll be seeing is me and my e-bike cruising around the campground here. Hopefully everything works well. This camera's picking up stuff well. I got it tilted up as high as I can go. It's just now whether my helmet tilts up, but I'm not sure how the microphone's gonna sound. Hopefully it's not too loud and blown out. It's the first time using it. It's right inside my helmet. So the microphone is like right next to my mouth. So this is the campground portion of where my parents are camping. There's four different circles here. Of course, I keep hitting the camera. Um, the circle that they were in. I think we just passed a circle over there. There's another circle here. I'm not going to go into those right now because there's really hardly anyone camping down there. Because everyone comes right now for Halloween, which they, had to, they do a Halloween thing here where the kids can go around trick-or-treating at the different campsites. But that's not for like two weeks. So not this upcoming Saturday, but the Saturday after. This place will be packed. Be completely sold out. People have their campsites all done up and stuff. So when we get close to that and it fills up and there's everyone out here camping, I'll go around and uh, shoot some video then at that time and show all the different campsites. Right now I'm just cruising over here. Um, there's two different sections of this park. There's the campground and then there's another section up here which we're going to take a little path to. That is um there's beach access there's a, a visitor center and there's picnic area so we're going to go over on this little path here hopefully no one's walking on it so i can go fairly fast on this little path through the woods kind of like it it's kind of fun to cruise through here this is new they just put this in this last last fall they didn't have the campground open for the halloween time they closed it to do a bunch of different work on it and this is one of the things they did. They put this path in here, which doesn't look like anybody's on it. Just a bunch of acorns I'm running over. And here comes a car right now, so. Oh. Must be cutting some trees down back here. All right, so this leads us over to the other part of the park, uh, PJ Hopmaster State Park. So this is where we'll go down some of these circles here. There's um, a beach access site, uh, like a nature center and a bunch of picnic areas, and we're gonna blow past this car here. I mean, blow past it. Yeah, this bike can go, I can get it up to 32 miles an hour. Speed limits here only 25, but oh well, who cares? What are they gonna do, yell at me for going too fast on my bike? When I see rangers, then I'll slow down. There's more rangers back here than I think there is people. They'll probably yell at me and say, because <laughs> my helmet, this bike looks like a moped as it is, except for the pedals. And then with my helmet, I have a mountain biking helmet, which looks like a dirt bike helmet, because I can, you know, has the front that comes around it so I can put my camera right on it and then I can mount my microphone inside it so it looks like I'm probably riding a dirt bike. Since there's not many people back here, I can open it up more. Except for this hill, the bike kind of slows down. I can't keep going it through. Ooh, I see a path over there. I wonder how to get to that. That'd be fun to try. And it's pretty steep, I don't think my, because even right here, I kind of got to pedal to help it get up this hill. But going down this hill, we'll pick up some speed. So this road here is going to take us back to the uh, nature center. Or not the nature center. This is the beach access. It's a little chilly out today. It's only, I think it's 65 or so. Yesterday was still up in the 70s. So there's a lot of cars back here yesterday. I don't know how many people are out at the beach today. You will see a couple cars here. Not many. The parking lot was a lot fuller yesterday. 
So um, today was my last day. I did the two days of, if you've seen the previous video, I did my maintenance therapy. And oh shoot, now I already got the name, Dexatron or it's something, it starts with a D. Um, it's an IV that they hook me up to. Uh, so it, they hook me up, they, get, they run it for like four hours each day. Plus they have to give me some pre-drugs ahead of time. So when I get in there, it's like a half hour, they give me Sudafed and, or Benadryl and something else. And then they hook me up to saline, that's another half hour. So it's an hour before they even start the, uh, the drug I'm on for four hours. So it's about five hours in there, which is better than I thought. Because when they scheduled the uh, appointment for me, you know, they had me scheduled from 8 a.m. to 5.30. So I thought I was going to be there all day. But yesterday I was out by 2.30 because they just had to wait for my labs to come back before they could start stuff. Where is that path in the woods? Is it this? So yesterday I was there till 2.30. Today I got out by 1.30. So not bad. And then after this month, so next month when I go in, um, or actually later this month, towards the end of October, they'll give it to me in one day. So it'll just be a one day, four hour. They'll give me the whole uh, two doses that they gave me over two days in one day. And if I handle that well without any like reaction or anything, then the following month, they'll speed it up to where I'm only there for like an hour and a half. But the five hours wasn't bad these two days. I thought it was. I was gonna. I took a backpack with a lot of bunch of sandwich and snacks and stuff. But uh, ooh, I think this is the path. I don't know. I think it's gonna be too steep. Whoa, yeah. I don't think my bike can make it up here. Maybe. Let's see. Probably not supposed to be on it. <laughs> this is a little sketchy. I don't know where it leads to. We'll try it out. I don't have my glasses on. I forgot my glasses, so I can't see that well. I'm going to put it down at a pink. Oh, jeez. Okay, this was not a smart idea. <laughs> uh, I know, I forgot what I was saying. Just because the sand is soft, so every time I break, because it's so steep, my back end is sliding, and there's so many roots and everything. Oh, my goodness. I got my headlight up. Jeez. Okay, now I can go a little bit. Again, I have no idea where this goes. I'm sure bikes aren't supposed to be on it. It's probably a walking path. I hope I don't have to turn around and go back. I hope I can get out of here. There's no way I'm gonna make it up the hill with that soft sand. Hopefully there's no like trees or anything over this. But it's kind of cool. I mean, if it's like this the whole way, It's not too bad, as long as none of these sticks give me a flat tire or anything and I get stuck back here. I got my phone, I can call for help if I need to. Not that you can really get service back here. No, that's not bad, that's a fun little little path to, t oh great. Now here's a branch. I wonder if we can get this out of here. Let me, oh, let me get off my bike real quick and, See if I can move this thing. Oh, okay. Come on. Not too bad. Not too heavy. There we go. And it looks like this takes us right up to the road here. All right. Speed bump. Oh yeah. Okay, just a little detour. That's not bad. That's fun. I'll do that again. Not going the other way. There's no way I could make it up that long steep hill. What is this? Yeah. Hiking. Okay, it says no bikes. I'm sure that's what the other one said. No bikes, but oh well. Nobody's out here right now. And I have no idea where that one goes. I'm not going to take that one. Oh, I'm not a lot of breath. All right. Squirrelies. 
So I can open it up back here, get this going. I just gotta watch out for the speed. It's kind of hard to see where they're at because all the different shadows. But I know there's like two speed bumps. There we go. Okay, here's a sign, another speed bump. So I think this next circle is to the uh, nature center. Well, I think what I was saying before, I got distracted with that path, was uh, the like the five hours for these uh, sessions isn't bad. Like I said, I took food, um, play on my phone a little bit, but I, with all the stuff they're giving me, because they have me take Claritin before I go, then they give me Benadryl when I get there, so I get a little sleepy, so I just kind of doze off and take a nap for a few hours. And then by the time I wake up, I play my phone a little bit and it's almost time to go. So sitting there for five hours, a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It goes by pretty quick. Yeah, even though it's in the mid sixties, when you're going on the bike like this, it's cold. I got two sweatshirts on and I'm still a little, little chilly. I could use a heavier coat or another sweatshirt on underneath this. So this is the visitor center. Quite a few cars back here. I haven't been in this in so long. I forget what's it. And then I think there's hiking paths that go back there too. The visitor center's up there, if you can see it on the camera. And then there's a path over here that takes you back into the woods there. Which she's bringing stuff out. So I don't know if they're closing up for the day. Like I said, it's been years I've been in there. I don't know if they got like little uh, stuffed, an you know, um, animals that are stuffed of what you could see out here. And I don't know. I've been riding out here now for two because my parents just got out here camping the other day, two days ago. And I brought my bike out yesterday and I leave it out here now. So it's, I only live a, maybe four miles from here, but it's just easier to leave this here chain it up to their campsite rather than loading this on my bike trailer every day because it's pretty heavy it's the bike's about 100 pounds my bike rack that I put on the bike the back car is pretty heavy I'm not really supposed to be lifting stuff with my back so the less I have to do it the better Ooh, another little path I have to see if that one had a sign on it I almost want to go back I might go back and take that one path again. And this is a turnaround. I think, I don't know if there's beach access here or if it's just uh, picnic shelters. So this sign will show us everything. So this is the, like this is the campground. So this is where my parents are, let's see, they're camping like right here in this far circle. And there's the two other little circles. Then there's a bigger circle. And I said, they're all pretty dead right now because it's so early. The reason like my parents are here and other people are is getting the campsite you want, the sooner you get it, because a lot of people, they usually, so they're camping like right here. They usually camp right across like the road from it. They usually camp over here, but those sites were already taken because what people will do is they'll book, you know, two weeks, three weeks before the Halloween. So they have it. And then when they get closer, they'll just cancel out those days. So they'll cancel out the whole first week until they want to come for the Halloween thing. So my parents tried to get it. They usually book like two weeks ahead of time. And those sites they usually get were already taken. So they just took ones right across the road, which are nice, they're pull throughs. But I said, like I said, we'll go over these again when we get closer, when there's more people here and they have all their uh, uh, Halloween stuff up. So what we did is we came around, we took, they don't have it on here, a little path through the woods that joined up over here. And then we are, I don't think they're showing, okay, we'll come over to this map. So the day use, so that map shows there. So this went out to the, the first one we went to where there was access to the beach. We cut through those big parking lots. Then we're in, and we just did the visitor center. And now we're here, the ski lot, they call it. Maybe there's cross country skiing on these, all these little trails and stuff. So I think when we, where did we, what path did we do? Is it on here? Because we went back to the day use. I think this is, we cut through this one. I think this is the little path we cut through and we came out on the road there. And then it, you could take it all the way. Maybe I'll try that. See if I can get on that path. 
even though it says you're not supposed to. Like I said, there's nobody out here. We'll go take a peek at that. They're not going to see me in the woods anymore. They're going to chase me in the woods and tell me, say, hey, sorry, I don't have my glasses. I didn't see the little sign that said no bikes. It said no bikes. It didn't say no e-bikes. But I didn't realize until yesterday when I brought my bike out that this side of the campground area was so big. But there are so many roads on to ride back here. It's kind of cool. And I don't think I'm going to run into anybody walking through here right now. So I'm trying to think, where did that... I think the path took us over there somewhere. Which I almost didn't see that car. I'll run right into him. All right. So we'll get back on the main path we did the first time. It came up, and I think it stayed... Which, man, I don't know if you can even get through with all those trees down over there. Well, let's go back and do that one again now that I moved the little tree out of the way. Like, I'm looking back there. I don't really see a path anywhere, but I thought it showed it went all the way down. Where was it? Was it that one? I don't know. Yeah, I don't see... Too many rangers out here right now. I think they only are out here till a certain time at night, then they go. So maybe I'll come back later and try some of these trails. So there's one right there. I don't know, is that it? No bikes. I wanna get it from the other side. I don't know. I don't wanna get on one of these paths that takes me way the heck back in the woods. Too far. And plus, I want to see if this one up here had a sign that said no bikes on it. Probably. I'm sh sure it did. But. those cars were coming from because there wasn't many cars out here in the first place yeah so there's that path we're on over there which hopefully no rangers go by when i'm going down it because you can be seen pretty easily all right let's see no that doesn't oh well, okay i guess the top one does say oh jeez okay Maybe that's a sign I shouldn't be on that. Oh. Okay. I think we're going to skip that path for right now. Oh. First wipe out on the bike. That one kind of hurt. Oh. Mainly because hopefully everything. My bear's bent. I'm trying to see if my. Looks like my camera's still recording. At least no one was driving by at that time. Whew. I just happened to take my eyes off the path and looked up the road to see if any cars were coming. And I turned a little sharp and went into that, that branch, which was on a, you know, on a bank. So then my bike started rolling backwards. And like I said, it's a heavy bike. And I couldn't get my foot down, couldn't get my footing, so then I went over. It kind of hurt my hip a little bit. But, oh well, something exciting for you to watch. Me falling down on my bike. In an area where I'm not supposed to be riding anyway, so maybe that's uh, uh, karma. But like I said, maybe I'll try it later. We in the rangers, there's not so many rangers here. I could see me riding back there on the trails. I have a headlight on here, so if it is a little dark back there, I can see. Whew. Must be a mail truck broke down. Got a tow one and going the other one, looks like. 
All right, is he still cutting trees back here? I think I hear him. Ah. Whew. I wish I knew, because I want to go a little faster through here. Whoa, jeez, okay. I need to stop looking around and watch the road when I go, especially going that fast through here. My goodness. Like I'm thinking, you know, I'm riding with this big helmet. I'm like, I don't need a big helmet. Yeah, because it helps have my microphone right here on it, but like, I'm not gonna fall. And here I already fell once. I didn't hit my head though. And then I almost wiped out there. Cause again, just for a split second, I happened to look right on the turn. Then I was coming too hot through there a little too fast and put on the brake and the whole back end slid around. But I think that, that like I just got hit with an air corn on top of my head. There are a lot of, as you see, we're running over a lot of acorns. These trees are dropping acorns like crazy back here, all over, even at the campsite. So the helmet helps with that in case a big acorn falls and smacks me in the head. Oh, goodness. Whew. All right, back to the campsite we go. So this is all new too. So this is part of the stuff they did when they closed it last year. They put in a no dump station. And on some of the campsites, like the handicap sense campsites, they put in cement pads. So the one right next to my parents, I'll show you. There's two of them there that have cement pads. So they didn't used to have that. So that's for handicapped campers only. Like if you have a wheelchair or a walker or something, they have those for you. Whew, it is chilly when you get going like this and this wind is cutting through you. Man. At least the helmet keeps my head warm a little bit. But so that's about it. Like I said, I have those two appointments. They went good. Um, nothing, no more appointments till the end of the month. So yeah, so this one here has a cement pad and the one over right there has a cement pad. So that is about it. Our campsites here. These were the ones we used to get but even though the person's not here because they canceled, but they booked it like three weeks in advance and then canceled out as it got closer and we had already booked these. All right, so that is about it. And I will talk to you guys next time. There's Mango.